Hi, welcome again to another edition of Market Analysis for today, July 18th of 2024. I'm Giovanni Benacourt, analyst, trader, and educator with Vantage Markets, and this is being pre-recorded uh, to uh, the opener of this U.S. session. All right, well, <clears throat> just as it looked like the Magnificent 7 could keep riding triumphantly into the sunset forever, the stock market changed the story. Even though their earnings outlooks are still strong, there are a couple of things happening that are hurting those big technology names that have done so much for the NASDAQ and S&P. They account for about a third of the S&P's total value, but now it's Alphabet, um, Amazon, Apple, Meta, Microsoft, Nvidia, and Tesla that are on the back foot while a bunch of smaller little known stocks thrive. One is the nagging thought that maybe the artificial intelligence boosted valuations have become a little bit stretched, even if the AI boom is far from over. Second, the prospect of an imminent Federal Reserve interest rate cut makes the rest of the market more attractive. The MAG-7 doesn't need help from the Fed. They're making enough money without the need to borrow, which is why they've done well when rates were on the up. Almost everyone else, however, could really use a break from lower borrowing costs, even if presidential uh, frontrunner Donald Trump pours cold water on it. Which brings up the third thing, political rhetoric is heating up, specifically uh, this week, uh, Trump, who looks on track to win the November election, appeared dismissive of the U.S. strategic interest in Taiwan. That's really bad for most of tech. Is nearly every supply chain runs through the island nation. Semiconductor stocks had their worst day in four years yesterday. <clears throat> and with that being said, we can take a look at today's speculated at today's market fluctuation. So we saw how that red uh just in one if you if you take a look at this real closely and they just just kind of draw some lines right here take a, it's a line across right and a line across but basically so we basically said that the market uh, failed one two three four days in one day so what the market moved in four days in one day it just boop Drop this. So that's a correction. Uh, today the market seems to be, and we use that twenty thousand. You see, you see how it, how the market it did peak below that, that level of support, but it closed above it. So you see, that's why I use that's why it is used uh, this psychological round numbers as a level of support. It's just because it's psychological, I suppose. Is it? It, it is. Anyhow, um, regarding to today, so we see that the market might be doing some sort of a, uh, you know. Retracement of actually, uh, doing a, a pullback or, or been rebounding of the slow, right? Uh, let's see if, if this will take the, the market all the way to the medium of, of, uh, of the bullish bands, right around 20,300. So initially going with the momentum, which is buying, but that could change, uh, in a, in a, in a heartbeat. Uh, so again, also the S&P dropped. It did, didn't one, two, almost three days, but not, not as much as the NASDAQ. So again, uh, perhaps it, it, today will be another day, just the middle of yesterday's trading session, and then do another a continuation to the downside, or we'll continue to move higher. The Dow yesterday broke a level of, of resistance, so we didn't have to lift that baby up. Uh, let's just put that there to 41.745. And since we are it, let's just, just put 41,000 as our psychological round number. So. Uh, could the Dow now today be doing a a correction? So could probably be selling just because it's before uh, the the uh, Russell open was with a small gap down. It has been closed. So I will suggest I will assume that we're going to continue to do some sort of a correction. Profit taking also we need to be hey, the market has been moving higher, higher, higher strongly. Uh, we, in order for you to take this profit, we, you gotta get out of the out of the, the position of the market. So that, that's by selling. So that's we could probably be seeing that here. Uh, how much more will it come down to? Perhaps a twenty two hundred round psychological number. So uh, selling the the Russell crude oil yesterday did actually a nice rebound. Even though it opened with a strong gap down, it recovered and closed higher. Um, in the green, actually, today we have a uh, fluctuated above our medium, uh, a medium level of, of the bondage band, uh, and it quickly is retreating 
So let's just assume that today we're going to be seeing some sort of small corrections. So around 80 and a half. Uh, wait for that, for that reverse to happen. Not gas yesterday. It fluctuated below $2, but it quickly closed right above our level of support. Today, we're, we're seeing the same kind of uh, market fluctuation behavior. So perhaps today will be one of those that it is just to be a, a rebound and just counter trend to one, 2010 cents will be a, a, the target. <clears throat> and then we have here gold. So gold is looking to stay strong. Uh, strength, no, at least stay above our, our level of support, which is fantastic. Uh, I would assume that today's fluctuation will be again met as the, as the US session opens up. Then we have uh, silver that has actually you know, broken our level of support, so we have to bring that puppy down. Uh, and let's just use 29950 $31. Open with a small gap down, it has been closed. Uh, I wouldn't be trading it, just waiting for a correction, waiting, waiting for a direction. Copper, let me see copper here. Uh, so it's trending. Wow, copper just dropped. Wow, what happened to copper? Well, that's a nice drop. 425 is going to be uh, the level of support. So going with the trend, selling copper. Bitcoin, let's see what's happening with Bitcoin. Oh, so Bitcoin is making that. That same highs and lows. Okay, so the entering is in some sort of a consolidation stage. Keep that in mind. And then we have the euro. The euro is oh look at the euro. So it's also doing some sort of a correction. Let's see if it will come down at least to halfway or one or nine. Let's see what will happen. And then we have the pound. The pound is also doing some sort of similar things with the euro. So let's see if 129.5 will be the level of support for the euro. And then we have the dollar index, which is the reason why the euro. And so I did open with a gap down. It is trending higher now. Let's, let's just you assume 103, 600 could be the level of resistance. That's it for me today. Have a great trading day and I'll see you tomorrow.